The inline regulator, or HPR, on the CS1 is mounted inside the grip frame. To access the regulator, you need a 532 hex key. Remove the two hex bolts in the bottom of the frame. With those removed, you can now simply slide out the POPS body and allows you access to the inline regulator. Inside the frame, you'll see there's still the spring, the regulator spring, and the regulator piston. The spring can be tipped out, placed to one side. You will need some pointy nose pliers to grab hold of the piston and slide it out. On the piston there's one o-ring, this is a 14 by 2 o-ring, you can wipe this down, also wipe the stem piston as this seals around a number 8 o-ring that's inside this piece here. Piston can be lubricated, small amount of grease around the main piston seal a small amount around the stem. This part here is very important. Then the piston can be placed back inside the frame. This part doesn't really need disassembly on a regular basis, but what you should do is apply a small amount of grease to the number eight on the inside of this. Again, this is very important. This is one of the main seals that sees gas pressure at all times inside the regulator. It's very important that that's lubricated. Easiest way to do that is to take something like a, a 1 8 hex key and apply some lubricant to the end, the hex key, place it inside and move it around so that the o-ring inside there is coated in grease. This is all the maintenance you should need to do on a regular basis. Spring can be inserted back inside there. Take your uh, pops assembly, slide that back in. Make sure that the spring locates inside the adjuster assembly. Insert both of the screws and tighten the POPS assembly back down onto the frame. The POPS assembly is under some tension at this point as it's compressing the regulator spring. So once you've tightened one screw up, go back to the other one, make sure that one's tightened up. Just double check both of them side by side to make sure they're both snug. And that is the basic maintenance of the CS1 inline regulator. Where regular maintenance of the inline regulator for the CS1 involves lubrication of the piston and lubrication of the internal number 8 o-ring side here, sometimes you'll need to go a bit deeper into the regulator and that's what I'm going to show you now. This is the regulator body here Underneath the regulator body, there is the adjuster screw assembly, which holds the regulator seal and the purge poppet, and that's what degasses the marker when you degas the gun. First of all, I'm just going to want to wipe this regulator body down and unscrew that piece. It should just be able to come undone by hand. As you can see in this case, the adjuster has come out with the regulator body at the same time. Inside the regulator body itself, you have two 14 by 2 o-rings on the outside here. You have 14 by 2 around the base here, which is just there to hold the regulator body into the POPS body. And then you have the number 8 o-ring on the inside here. In order to replace that number 8 o-ring, you will need a pick to pick that out 
and pop a new one into place. Apart from that there's nothing else inside the regulator body itself. Here is the adjuster screw assembly and regulator seal. The black piece here is the regulator seal. If this, this gets damaged or worn or torn at all it needs to be replaced and in order to replace that you need to separate the two pieces. You have a stainless steel bottom half and a brass top half. Easiest way to do that is simply insert 1 8 Allen key or hex key into the bottom of the adjuster and then use some pliers or a um, spanner to turn the top piece. That will come loose and allow access to the regulator seal. Regulator seal can be pulled out. Underneath the regulator seal, we have the purge poppet and spring. This is the item that allows the gun to degas um, when the tank is removed and stops a, a shot being stored inside the gun. That just sits in the pocket in the bottom there. Again, make sure there's no damage to that part and the spring is clipped on. Take a new regulator seal if you're replacing the regulator seal and drop it into the regulator bottom and take the retaining piece and screw that in place and again use a hex key to hold the reg bottom and pliers or a flat spanner just to nip up the top section. To reassemble simply take this piece, this really doesn't need any grease on it just um, a very light application if you do put some on there that can just be screwed into the pops body there. The regulator body can now be placed on top, screwed into place just by hand, no need to tighten with any tools. At this point it's worth resetting the regulator adjuster. In order to do that take the adjuster to the fully out position and then go back in one, two, three, four, and a half, four and a half turns. That should be roughly in the right place when you reassemble and chronograph the gun. Obviously you must re-chrono after you've taken the regulator apart. At this point it's also worth checking and inspecting the filter and the gasket that seals the gas from the tank into the frame. Make sure that's not damaged and is nice and flush in the pocket before reassembling onto the gun.